Hey my internet friends, in this video I'm gonna talk about like website backup and restore. If you are a WordPress user, you know about like how much important and a website backup. Because if you're making anything else in your website and if you don't have any backup, that means you waste your money, you waste your time and you waste your user. But if you have a backup, that means you have everything. Like if you make anything else in your website, just simply restore your all data, then your website will be live again. So you don't need to invest your money, you don't need to in, uh, invest your time, you don't need to do anything else if you have a backup. Sometimes you will know, like uh, sometimes we got a news or WordPress website hacked and it is ADC. But if you have a backup, you can easily restore your website. But if you don't have a backup, that means you cannot restore it. So in this video, I'm gonna compare about like three best plugin like WordPress plugin for our backup and restore and also like in a duplicator. So first plugin if I tell about like this plugin like updraft backup I don't like this plugin now because last three and four months I use this uh, plugin and I uh, talk about like every people I just talk about every people like use this updraft plus updraft plus because this is really great and working as well but when I was in danger I, I realize it if this is my wrong decision and this is I uh, just making it wrong because uh, when I an, on uh, when I in danger then I realize this WordPress plugin not working like this is not working so that time I already have some backup like our duplicator and all in one WP uh, migration this plugin so that's why this situation those plugin helped me a lot to restore my website. So that's why I'm just recommend you not uh, try now like updraft and try to use this all-in-one WP migration this plugin and or you can use this duplicator plugin also. Like now I'm just telling about like uh, this uh, all-in-one migration like this plugin. This plugin also awesome and uh, I don't know if this plugin have uh, or have or not like this automatic backup system, but you can take manually. And uh, you can manually take on a backup because when you think you just need to change anything else in your website that time taking a backup then making uh, changes in your website and if you make anything else then just restore your backup but one problem is if you using like this all-in-one WP migration this plugin and if you want to use this backup and restore system you just need to update your like you just need to go to this pro version this is the main problem or like all-in-one WP migration but don't worry, I will give you this uh, version like pro version link in my video description if you check it out this. And last one, I really like this is name is Duplicator. I really like this website and I already duplicated my 50 plus website using this Duplicator plugin and this plugin working as well. And if you're using any kind of uh, file manager or cpanel.net cpanel, I think I really I am um, just recommend you try to use this duplicator plugin because it's working as well and this plugin save your time but one big problem is you just need to manually download this uh, like this all file and again you just need to upload your file manager your all file this is the uh, like the like the like uh, as like a big problem as this plugin but if you go to this all-in-one WP migration this plugin they have automatically like backup and restore system but you, you just need to go to this pro version if I tell you the moral of the story, that means uh, I'm just <laughs> tell you and recommend you try to use all-in-one WP this migration plugin. I think this one the best plugin ever, and this plugin working as well. So let me show you how this plugin are working and how we can take on a backup and how we can restart the website. So first, let me show you Updraft. So if you want to take any kind of uh, like backup using Updraft, you just need to go to the setting, and here as you can see, Updraft plus backup. So when you click on there, then you'll see the backup system and here the setting like automatically taking backup system. So just click on this backup button and just click on this backup now button then automatically create a backup about your website and then you'll see the backup on there. And if you want to restore your backup, you can easily restore uh, using this. And here the, uh, some option like upload backup file. So if you want to upload your backup file on there, you can easily do that thing but i don't like this updraft backup like this plugin so let me show you about like all in one wp plugin like this migration plugin so this plugin also awesome and let me show you how it's work 
So if you want to export or import, like if you want to export your uh, like this uh, like this your website all file. So here the option like export to. So if you want to take any file or any other thing, you can easily do that thing. So just click on the file because I just want to make in a file. So that's why I just click on the file and then see it's now creating an uh, like all file. So this plugin uh all take all backup like your database like your file or your theme plugin. A to Z are uh, taking a backup about like, this plugin. So as you can see here, the backup were already done. So if you download this backup, you can easily download this backup and uh, put into your PC if you want to. If you want, so I don't want to take uh, like I just want to. I don't want to download this uh, like this all file. So it's close here. And if you go to this like this backup file, if you go to this backup, just uh, click on there. Then you'll see here the backup. We recently created a backup. And if you want to download this, you can easily download from there. And if you restore this, your backup, you can easily restore this backup. And I hope uh, this. Uh, so <laughs> I hope you you like this. And one thing is the boarding option on there, like this import option. But when you try to upload your file about like import, <laughs> and uh, when your file will be like 95 uh, percent or 85 percent, then you'll see it's now automatically stopped. So uh, that's why I think the backup and restore system is best. And if you have the pro version, you can manually upload file into your C panel or your file manager. So if you want to see or if you want to watch uh, like how it should work and how we can upload your like backup file into your C panel or file manager. So so let me tell about like duplicator plugin and I I al al already tell you about like duplicator plugin. I really like this plugin and I. I uh, using this plugin last one year and this plugin all awesome. So if you take in a package like in a backup package, so you just it's very simple. Just click on this icon and here as you can see this create new button. So simply click on this create new button and then uh, then you'll see uh, they are showing on the title. So you can put your title which you just want to add. So I don't, I'm not changing here any title on there. So if you want to change the title, you can easily change the title or name like the file name. So let's click on this next button, and then you see. The, then you see it's now scanning your side, and uh, they are tell us keep this window open during the scan process. This can take several uh, several minutes. So don't worry about like this. <laughs> so it's take like a uh, simple time. It's not taking a long long time. It's uh, taking a simple time. So as you can see, our scan is complete, and uh, we just need to click on this yes and continue button and click on build that means they're taking on a build package it's like they're creating a package like uh, as like an uh, archive file recently you see this uh, all in one wp migration they're creating an archive file also uh, this plugin since we are uh, creating a backup in duplicator so that's why this plugin taking on a package like same an archive file they're taking so they are also telling about like keep this window open and do not close during. Okay, so as you can see, they are also uh, they are also creating a package. So if you want to download this package, you can easily download here. And when you download this package, like this archive file, must be download this installer file. And if you lost your installer file, you cannot restore your website and you cannot download your website. So must be uh, put the save page here, save. Uh, save place your like this installer and archive file okay i hope guys you understand about like those plugin and uh, now you can make a decision about like which is best for you and i already tell you about my personal opinion and which is best for you and if you like this video just click on this like button and if you new here in my channel so please consider and subscribe and if you want to like any kind of deal, like you just want to like any discount, so please check my video description because I already provide you some discount link. And if you buy from my discount link, then you will get a discount, like 83% discount.